Hello and welcome. I just want to run through with you a couple of um, products that we use on a regular basis to make our life a little bit easier when blogging. Uh, you'll find that the blog is going to take up quite a bit of your time, so it's, it's a lot easier if you can um, make things very quick. The first thing I'm going to introduce you to is something called Scribefire. Um, it quite literally is absolutely amazing. It's a product that we found just by by chance. It's free and it installs directly into your Mozilla Firefox um, web browser. Uh, the instructions, uh, all you need to do is go to scribefire.com and it'll take you down to the installation instructions. Very straightforward. All you need to do is go to the um, the, the link here which is the add-ons page at Mozilla click it and it'll it'll tell you how to install the rest of it when it's been installed you'll get this little icon down at the bottom of your screen here along with my many others and um, as you can see it's scribe fire so you'd click on it now when you first actually start off with you may or may not have the uh, the account launch manager so what I'm going to do is uh, this one hasn't actually got it turned on but if you go over to the right of the screen you'll see there's a button marked launch account wizard which makes life a lot easier so we click on that and you put in the details of your blog one I've prepared earlier it'll check the blog settings this is found out it's a WordPress it's found out where my API, API is so we can add information to it go to next next you type in your username your password <coughs> next again it's loading and it, what it'll do it'll bring in um, information from your oh sorry put the right password in it'll bring the information in from your um, your actual WordPress blog if I've got the right kind of password yeah there we go and it's told me that it's successfully logged in it's told me where it is so I've got to confirm press next and it's the accounts been added now you can continue to add blog after blog after blog after blog for this particular one you might have a whole host of blogs that you want to actually work on um, once it's been added you'll see over on the right hand side this is your manager this manages all your blogs so if I now wanted to if I tick that and go to the entry section or the cat sorry the categories section I should say take a few minutes at first you'll see it brings in my categories from the blog itself so when I'm creating a post which I would do in here um, what it actually does is it actually it takes it straight into that that page there so let's go and find a blog I've just done a quick search on Google I'll just make this a, a little bit smaller because it does take up quite a bit of the screen you can manipulate it so I've gone into to Google though this this blog that I'm talking about is a home improvement blog so we'll we'll just go to this one here um, no no good go back let's have a look um, getting help with home improvement cost uh, direct gov yeah yeah okay we'll put we'll put a bit of information on there to get right this is a section on the direct gov website and what I want to do is I want to put this bit of information here because it's quite handy straight into my uh, into my blog so I'm just going to make a small addition to the blog and um, we're gonna I'm gonna put about disabled facilities grants so what I'll do is I will put this section here in fact we can put the whole section what I'll do is I'll just copy it um, I'll just go for this disability so if, if I copy that that gives us the information related to links so right click copy right click paste and as you can see what it's done it's brought it in exactly so if I come up here now it's brought it in with the title and it's brought it in with various bits of information now I can at this point if I wanted to had add hyperlinks um, text links jazz it up make it look slightly different or edit it to any way I actually feel it, you know it would be a, an improvement what I'm actually going to do is just going to put that straight into the title this is just a demonstration just delete it up uh, so it looks 
you know there's a title there's a little bit of information and so on now we want to add some tags down here so what we do is we would put a couple of tags in about it and we would put um, just what, what it is or whatever you wanted to put it in in as there we go and I'll put it in just under the home improvement section and what we're going to do now is I'm going to publish it up at the top here it's come up with the publishing options now I can publish it as a page, post a new or a new page or I can save it as draft till later but I'm just going to post it so I'm just going to hit publish you'll see down there a little box comes up says publishing there you go it's done so what I'll do now is I'll go back to the blog there you go it's down so let's get rid of this now if you go back down to the bottom here and click it, click the thing again you'll see it, it disappears it reappears it disappears it's quite, it's quite straightforward and um, because this wasn't refreshed I'll refresh it now there you go there's the post we've just added with the links and that's it it's as simple as that and that's how to use it as you get, you get the hang of it you'll find that there's many 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 more functions available um, and you can do all sorts with it it's literally it's literally endless the possibilities all right i just thought i'd uh, clue you up on that one thanks a lot for watching